This is Eli with Evolve Solutions. In my last video, we talked about Panasonic's RQ35 engineering model that we were able to test out. I talked plenty of specs before, but was unable to show it to you in action. Well, with this production unit, we can do a little bit more due diligence. And since so much of video is relative, we'll see how it stacks up to its older sibling, the RQ32, one of the best looking projectors money can buy. Let's start with the imager chips. This unit, being a three chip DLP, has a native resolution of 1920 by 1200 and pixel shifts up to 3040 by 2400. Seen here is a burst pattern with the RQ35 on the right and the RQ32 on the left. You can see the scaling of this 1080p burst test pattern is much cleaner and more accurate on the RQ35. I tried to compare warping with both to see if there was a noticeable difference between the chips and the results were inconclusive. My assumption is that the RQ35 will be slightly worse due to less pixels on the chip, but I couldn't tell the difference. Next, let's look at color performance. The RQ35 has added red lasers, as well as improved blue laser pathing. In these shots, you can see the difference in saturation and secondary colors using red. There's more pop in all colors due to the brightness difference, but the RQ35 just has more color to work with and processing to boot. An interesting note is that when I was blending and converging to see how the different chips would interact, I noticed that the 35 is 60 milliseconds faster than the 32. No worries though, the RQ35 has a function that lets you delay video frames in milliseconds. Here is an extreme slow motion video taken with my phone showing how well they sync and match up using warp and frame rate correction. They do blend and stack very well based on the tests here in the academy. And lastly, look at the size difference. The 35 is a good bit smaller. As I said before, it takes up the same footprint as the RQ22 and it's a bit taller. It's still dense though, and it'll be a four man lift once it's in its fly frame. We've got this info and so much more as these units are available for rental and for purchase. So if you have any questions, you know who to call.